Hey, what's up guys? I'm Sam. Today, I'll show you how you can create this teleportation effect. Alright, so this is the raw footage that I used to create this effect. So, without further ado, let's get started. So, we'll just take a footage and drop it onto this icon to get a new composition. Whew, okay. Then we'll find the point where we start jumping and we'll move a few frames ahead and then go to edit split layer and then we'll find the second point where we start jumping and we'll trim this layer so just hit alt begin bracket to trim it and then we'll just zoom in a bit and then try to align these more accurately. And also fade them in and fade them out. So I'll just take this entry layer and hit T for opacity and then click on the stopwatch to set a keyframe and move a few frames back and set it to zero. And then what we'll do is take the rectangle tool and create a mask around this area. And also hit F and feather it to remove the harsh edge and then what we'll do to fix this is duplicate this footage and hit M and delete the mask and just find the point where we have a still background just the empty background and then we'll right click go to time freeze frame so that we have a freezed frame of the background and then we can rename it as BG and just bring it down and increase the size and then we also fade this out so we'll just hit T set a keyframe move a few frames ahead and set it to zero alright so let's see what we have here not bad Alright, that looks great. Now what we'll do is create a new adjustment layer and we can rename it as Entry Bulge and go to Effect Distort Bulge and then we can increase the size of the bulge and align it like that and then set the bulge height to zero for now and we can set a keyframe and then move ahead and then set the bulge height to negative 1 and then move a few frames ahead and set it to 0 and then we can just trim the adjustment layer so alt begin bracket and alt end bracket and then we can duplicate this adjustment layer bring it down above our exit footage and we can just name it exit bulge and we'll just move back and bring it here and then align the scale and the position like that alright that looks cool alright so now what we'll do is create some portals to exit from so what we'll do is create a new composition and we can name it portal and set so the duration to maybe 2 seconds and everything is okay and then we'll create a new solid name it noise hit okay and then go to effect noise and grain fractal noise and what we'll do is increase the contrast a bit go to transform and decrease the scale to maybe like 90 or so and we'll just animate the evolution so what we'll do is alt click on the stopwatch for evolution and we'll type time asterisk 150 so that will animate it like that now what we'll do is take the rectangle tool and create a mask like that and we'll hit M and key from the mask path and we'll make sure that the mask is outside the frame for now and also hit F and feather it 
to around 140 pixels then move ahead to maybe like 15 frames or so and take the mask and move it all the way down like that also scale it like that so that it fades off so something like that so now what we'll do is go to our main composition in just rename it as main comp and then bring a portal composition to this comp and we can just solo this for now and then we're gonna add an effect named polar coordinates we'll just drag this onto this layer and make sure to have the type of conversion set to rect to polar and then set the interpolation to 100% so you'll get something like this and then you can notice a harsh edge around here so to fix that we'll need to go to the portal comp and what we'll do is create a new adjustment layer and type offset and just take this effect, drop it onto the adjustment layer, and then shift the center to zero. So just set it to zero. So now we can clearly see that harsh edge in the middle. And then we'll just duplicate this noise layer, move it above the adjustment layer, and take the rectangle tool and make another mask and set it to subtract and check the inverted checkbox then hit F and feather it a bit and that should fix the problem almost cool we can also fade this out so we can just hit T for opacity hit the stopwatch move a few frames ahead and set it to zero And now we can color correct this portal. So we can just go to effect, color correction, hue and saturation. Then check the checkbox for colorize and set the colorize saturation to 100. And then we can just give it a blue color or whatever color you want. But I like blue so I'm just gonna give it a blue color. And then we can also add some glow. So we can go to effect, stylize, glow and just increase the glow radius to a higher value and then we can hit F4 on the keyboard or just click on this toggle switch mode and first unsolo this layer and then set the transform mode to lighten and then we can just align it with the effect and also scale it down to maybe 45 or so move ahead just place it the right position okay and then duplicate the portal layer and bring it this side and scale it to about 85 or so and align it with the effect all right so let's see what we have here all right that's not bad at all and also make sure that all the portals are above their respective layers and all the adjustment layers are above their respective layer also and now what we'll do is take the entry layer duplicate it move it above the portal so that we can mask it out and make ourselves in front of the portal so we'll just delete this mask and then create a rough mask around ourselves And then we'll hit F and increase the feathering a bit and then hit M and keyframe the mask path and we'll try to align the mask with ourselves. So we'll just move frame by frame by hitting page up or page down and then align the masks. Alright, so now what we'll do is make another mask on this entry to layer, an ellipse mask, and we'll just make a mask at the center maybe, and then hit F, increase the feather, 
and go to the point where we start entering the scene and hit the keyframe for mass expansion and set it to negative 300 and then move ahead and set it to maybe 500 and then we also gonna set this to intersect and then we can copy this mask and paste it to our entry layer and we're missing our leg so we can just hit mm and just move with this keyframe a bit ahead and let's see what we have here now all right that looks okay now what we're gonna do is add some color correction so we'll right click new adjustment layer and rename it CC and just to save some time I made myself a preset so that I don't have to do everything again and again over so I'll just take my preset and drag it onto the adjustment layer and right away we have a color correction we can just decrease the sharpen amount to 10 maybe and by the way you can download the preset from the description alright so what I did in the original example is added some camera movement so what we'll do is take our main comp and drag it onto this icon and make another comp and to give it an anamorphic look like this the black borders so we'll just make a new solid a black solid and we can name it as crop and then we'll make another solid and this time we'll set the height to 560 and then set the crop track mat to alpha inverted mat so we get that anamorphic look and now we're ready to add the camera movement so we'll just take our main comp scale it a bit to give us some room and then we'll hit P and move it this way and set the keyframe for position move ahead and move it this way like that and set another keyframe move ahead and move it like that and to add some more camera movement we can just alt click on the stopwatch for position and type wiggle open parenthesis 1 comma 35 and close parenthesis and then hit f4 and turn on the motion blur for the layer and the comp as well to make it look better and also select all these keyframes and right click keyframe assistant and easy ease just to make it look better and let's see now what we have here all right that looks great i hope you learned something new from this tutorial if you like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching and goodbye bam